Hey everybody, this is Cappy Smack coming to you from Vega Conflict. We're just about at the start of Alien Decimation, but even more important than that, we're coming down to the big moment where the Paladin will come out and mingle with the rest of my ships. And then I can start a Guardian build for all of you in this video. But for now, let's take a look at Alien Decimation. We're going to decimate aliens. So what do I want from Alien Decimation? What do I want? What do I want? What I need, more than anything else, is the Xeno Shatter Driver. Don't have it, obviously, and I need it. And then, after that, what I need is... A harmonic agility field generator. So that means about uh, 1.6 million for that. And I'm expecting to get like 4 million points. And that very loud sound was the beginning of Alien Decimation. So I have probably 4 million points and I'll figure it out. I'm probably going to get this harmonic XFA shield. Two, and Tungsten Armor 2, which is uh, 1.6 plus the other 1.6, where is it? Yeah, that'll give me 3.2, so we'll see. All right, the big moment. Paladin. Do I spend coins? I have 2281 coins. Do I spend coins? I have to spend coins because if I wait another day, I'll have much less benefit from the ship construction boost. So I have to spend coins. Here it is. Ship completed. Paladin. Fleet. Let's bring the Paladin into my fleet. Where's my paladin? Give me my paladin. Where are you, paladin? Waiting on you, fleet. I know it's hiding. But where did it go? Hmm. <laughs> Don't tell me I hit the button to cancel it. Someone's calling me. I want to look for my paladin. Okay, I found my paladin. It was hiding. Sir. Fleet. And here we go. And now it's way too heavy. 
I can use it, but I need a smaller fleet. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. So I can't use it. Oh well. It was nice to think about it. So now I have to upgrade my fleet bay where I can't use the silly thing. And I'm trying to get enough uh, resource storage so I can upgrade my fleet bay. So let's go back to plan B, which is Shit. build a guardian. So we're going to build a guardian, if I can. Starts out with four days. That's before we do anything. So now I'm going to add some shields, harmonic exophase, the new handy dandy gotta have it shield, and that boosts it up to well, about four days. And then we need to have tungsten armor. The new handy dandy gotta have it. Didn't really change the build time at all, but let's take a look at Alanite, which gives me alien resists where tungsten does not. 2635. You know, I'm really thinking that the Talonite's a little better. So I'm uh, not exactly sure why this tungsten even exists. Because it looks like Talonite is better because it gives me 20% alien resists. And it gives me explosive resist. And I don't know why I have tungsten. But okay. Because when I drop in tungsten, I lose a little health. You lose quite a lot of health. So I, I have no idea why this tungsten stuff is even here. To be honest. I think I want Talonite. To be honest. So I'll put a question mark over my head for that one. And I'm going to want these pulse cannons. Oh, this is why I have tungsten. Alright, I think I understand why. Because it's lighter weight. And if you want anything other than armor, <laughs> you got to use it. Alright, I get it now. And then my other two weapons, see the uh, pulse cannons are good for penetration. They will pierce and go straight through ships. Not so good for killing squadrons. So if you're looking for something to kill squadrons, yeah, that's going to be something other than that particular weapon. Now I do want two of them at this point, I think. Uh, I think then I want to uh, Xena disintegrator cannons 246 rupture beams 389 so I think I want two rupture beams until the first time I lose my ship and then I'll be back doing tungsten armor all right I get it
I think a rupture beam has a bit more oomph. Not gonna let me have to, are ya? Hmm. Yeah, like I was saying, I guess I want uh, disintegrator beams, Skinner, uh, disintegrator cannons. That's what I was saying. You heard me say that, right? I know I said it. Oh, boy. Chases. Less armor. More engine. That's what I was saying. Less armor, more engine. And I really don't have anything else I can stick in here that will help my Xeno ship other than just about that. Um, it's one of those things that just has not shown up. And wouldn't you know it, someone else is calling me, so... All right, so this looks like my build for now. Keep in mind, this is a Guardian Mark I. When you get to Mark II, then you can put on extra armor and some other stuff. So this is really what I'm left with. 944 DPS, but the main thing is that harmonic exophase shield. And I did throw in one of these uh, antimatter scoops, you know, just in case, you might scoop up some more antimatter. And it's only eight days, which is a bit less time than your typical run-of-the-mill Punisher, which I think my first Punisher, my only Punisher I've ever built, took me nine days, and then a couple days to refit, because I switched some things around. And I'm not exactly sure if I can do anything else that's going to have a positive impact. I might toy around with swapping out some weapons here. Pulse cannons are pretty heavy. Uh, if I wanted a rupture beam, there's 2445. Yeah, rupture beams are heavy. Seeker missiles are fairly light. Not a lot of DPS though. Um, cluster missiles. I'm 
not opposed to it, but this build, I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. It's eight days. It's 20% off. I think without the 20%, it probably would have been 11 days. So, um, you know, this is it. Got to start it. I don't really have anything else I can do with it. I don't have any resists that I can put in at this point. Don't really want to buy any. Well, you got to have a Guardian. It's a better Punisher, they say. I'll compare that in a bit. Uh, 21,757 and 4620 shields and 944 DPS. And there we go. Eight days from now, or around the 18th, thereabouts, I'll have a Guardian. That leaves me eight days to upgrade my fleet bay. So how does that compare with my Punishers? Um, 944 DPS, right on par with the biggest Punisher I've got, but 30% mm, more, 50% more than my other Punishers. Okay, uh, more health. So, uh, 50% more health. And double the shields with uh, fleet bonuses. Now, I really get to see if I can use the silly. Alright, so what if we drop that one out? And I do have a fleet bonus because of my Paladin of 0 0.083. So fleet DPS is 49.10 with it. All right, so... My fleet DPS goes up by 200 if I switch to the Paladin and one less Punisher. So I'm going to be tempted to do that, I think. Just to see what there is to see. Fleet level 76. Well, we'll see if that has a positive impact on anything. I really wish I could use... That is so close. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to refit something just so I can put three Punishers in a fleet, but I don't want to stop my Guardian build at this point. So that's the way that goes. Well, that is the way that goes. I'm going to have to give that a try. Might make a video, but not right now. And I think I'm going to end this video. That was the Paladin finish after 16 days and two passes through the old sawmill. And I started my Guardian build. Eight days and four hours to go. And I'm using my Paladin, so we'll see how that goes. And for now, that's it. I'm going to do my alien decimation to see how well this new fleet configuration works. Be sure to stomp on that uh, subscribe button and uh, smash, obliterate with fire and fury the, uh, uh, you know, like button. And uh, check me out on Patreon. So I'm going to go kill some aliens and fly safe.